the Super Sprint series was established late last year to provide an accessible, affordable, and fun entry-level event for motorsports enthusiasts looking to try their hand at racing. The series drew a lot of racing newbies with little to no experience in organized motorsports competitions. Over three rounds late in 2019, the series also drew entries from the ranks of intermediate drivers looking for venues to hone their skills in a competition setting. This is also coming true in the first round of the 2020 Super Sprint Series as Race Weekend found out during interviews with some of the returnees. After a three-leg stretch last year, the Super Sprint Series is back for another season of racing here at the Make Hawaiian Commercial Complex in Bulacan. So, let's go check it out. After just holding three rounds in its inaugural year, the Super Sprint Series appears to have gained enough of a following to hold more rounds in its second year. It has succeeded to draw lots of entries from rank amateurs to intermediate drivers, many out to enjoy the experience of racing in a safe, controlled environment. Others looking to discover whether they have the talent and aptitude to be competitive in the sport. The Super Sprint Series may also have been discovered by the more serious racers as another venue for honing their skills in preparation for competing in other more established and competitive series. Among them is Ryan Blanc. Okay, so we're here with one of the most uh, consistent drivers that we have for, uh, for PAX, uh, for Slalom, for Super Sprint, you name it, Mr. Ryan Blanc. Hi, Ryan, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having uh, me at the, uh, here at the uh, Super Sprint. Yeah, so can you just give us your, your thoughts about the Super Sprint series as a whole? May nakikita ka bang difference or is it somewhat the same as what you drive in PAX and, and in Slalom? Uh, dito po sa Super Sprint, mas madali siya compared dun sa Philippine Autocross. So, ang ano lang namin is mas ma-practice pa namin yung driving skill namin. Then yung mga kasama ko rin sa team, inaano ko rin sila na mapush pa yung skill nila dito sa Super Sprint para in preparation syempre para sa mga ibang events like Filipino Autocross and Slalom. Yung packs, nagkakaroon din ng races dito sa Maykawayan eh. So gaano ka different yung course na ginagawa dito compared to sa packs? Dito sa Super Sprint, madali yung track kasi ano lang, uh, yung racing line mo hindi complicated and like Filipino Autocross. Susundan mo lang talaga yung mga cones din, yung mga chicane. Basic lang talaga yung track. Unlike dun sa Filipino Autocross, head-to-head -head din kayo mag maglalaban. And yung design, mas madali. Lalo na sa mga beginners. Alright, Mr. Ryan Leblanc, uh, hope to see you on the next legs of uh, PAX and of course Lalo. Thank you very much. Thank you po sa motoring today. The first round of the 2020 Super Sprint Series also sees many racers who won class championships in 2019. Under Super Sprint regulations, those who finish a season as class champions will be forced to level up. This apparently is meant to maintain the competitiveness of each class and provide more drivers opportunities to become champion themselves. While the track layout remains designed for beginners, Super Sprint organizers have decided to add new technical challenges to spice up the competition and help entries level up their skills. My experience with uh, this race for this year is different from last year since uh, we have uh, 360 obstacles right now. Last year, we don't have like that long track. Siya. So, talagang hihingalin yung sasakyan ko kasi iyon lang gamit ko. <laughs> the Super Sprint Series also has drawn entries from racing families like Ricardo Di Liaco and Pauline Bautista who both pointed to respective fathers as their main influencers. I grew up in a racing ganto. So parang I wanted to continue dad's steps kasi syempre si Kuya, he's getting old too. My dad and my uncle, um, I saw how they drive and I want to be like them. Kaya nag-join ako sa mga autocross. I want to enhance my skill and hopefully become like them someday. Teeners Pauline and Ricardo competed in the same class and category in 2019 but found themselves bonding over their love for motorsports. It's actually fun kasi parang bonding na rin yun eh. So syempre, iba talaga pag-prayas kayo ng passion. Then, support mo pa yung isa't isa. 
Nabibuild rin yung pagiging competitive sa isa't isa. <laughs> This year, Pauline hopes that not competing in the same class as Ricardo would allow her to shine more in Super Sprint. The Super Sprint kasi siya kalaban ko. Since ngayon kasi, hindi ko na siya kalaban. So parang medyo confident na ako. Like many of the Super Sprint entries this year, both expect to be active players in the series to provide more seat time in competition and improve their driving chops. Still enhancing my skills pa kasi. So parang another way of practicing autocross. Like, same as sa PAX, ganun. I still want to learn and we learn new things every day. And what are their expectations from another season of Super Sprint? Hopefully, maka at least 10 rounds or 10, 9 rounds usually kasi. Like last, like sa PAX, ganun. And then, ayun nga, sana more beginners will come and try to join the sport. To learn more and to have a good standing, hopefully. And okay naman yung event eh. That's it for our coverage of the first round of the Super Sprint Series for the year 2020. Check us out again next week for more Race Weekend action. It is heartwarming to see young people falling in love with and while racing. It should make for some exciting and dramatic storylines this Super Sprint and Motorsport season. Race Weekend will be sure to follow these developing storylines.